Hello, Les from Thailand here. Today's video is the fourth video that I've done for my videos that I've done for first time in, in Thailand, first time in Pattaya. So if you haven't watched the other videos, there's a link up there to watch the others. If you do enjoy them, please give them a thumbs up. If you don't enjoy them, give them a thumbs down or leave your comments below. So the fourth, fourth one. Um, this is when we returned from Koh Samet back to Pattaya and we had two more nights in Pattaya and what we were going to do is go out with a bang, go out with a party because when we go back to, to England reality sets in. So back to Pattaya and my friend who was, who was given all of us, all the three newbies advice as to what to do and how to do it and how to go on. One of his other golden rules were don't have a girlfriend for more than three days because then you'll fall in love and then you'll go soft and then it hurts your heart when you have to break up and leave. So he says to all of us, don't have the same girl for more than three nights. So once we got back to Pat, yeah, one of the guys that we were with broke that rule and went back to the girl that he had when he first came to party the two weeks before and he had her for, for a few nights and then because we went to Koh Samui then we went to Koh Samet and he thought for the last two nights I'm going to be with this girl so he was with her and the rest of us all had different girls and like any new relationship you have a bit of fun you have a giggle they have a giggle as well and I've got to say, my last two nights in Pattaya were, again, fantastic. But obviously the memories of the other people that I've met, various in the other islands, it's just like, wow, wow, wow. And it just it just improved from the disastrous two nights that I had in, in Pattaya to going out with a bang and on, on the end of it, having a good time before I went home. But another bit of advice that I can give that, again, my friend told me, and the others, the girls are always going to try and extract money from you. And we all said, no, no, we won't do that, we won't do that, because you've told us what to expect. And one of the guys who came back to Pattaya, to the girl that he was with when he first came in, he said, no, no, I won't be doing that, won't be doing that. So the following day, he says, oh, we're going out. He said, we're going out for, on the afternoon. So he said, I won't be with your lads, he said. So have a few beers for me and we'll meet up on, on the night time. So my friend just said to him, he said, don't you be buying her any presents. Don't you be doing anything stupid. Oh, no, I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't. So we decided to go drinking in some different bars that we'd never been to. And again, it was down by Dolphin Roundabout, Drinking Street, it was called, which was close to the, the big sea in near the Dolphin Roundabout. And as luck would have it, we all got off the bar bus and there's our friend, Didder, with a trolley, with a TV, with an ironing board and an iron and some pots and pans with a girl that he met. He looks so embarrassed and sheepish and he's like, oh, oh, oh. He's, I haven't spent a lot, I haven't spent a lot. So we just all laughed and we just said, it's up to you, it's up to you. You, you just do whatever you want to do. And we left it at that. And he was embarrassed on the night time, you know, because he'd been told not to do it, not to fall into that trap, because a lot of people get sucked dry with the money from the wallet and the ATM whilst they're over there, because they fall in love, they think this is it, and everything, everything's happy. So on that night time, we were all with our respective girlfriends and did her who bought the TV and the pots and the pans and the ironing board wasn't with his girlfriend. So we asked, why aren't you with the girlfriend? He said, oh, she, she wanted to stay in the bar with a friend and, and have a whiskey because her friend was leaving home the following day. And we said, well, this is our last night in Pattaya. We've got all our girlfriends here, we're all having a good time, and you're sat on your own. And your girlfriend's getting drunk on the money that you've given her. She's buying Thai whiskey for her friend. And you've just bought her the TV and the ironing board and everything else. And Diddy said, mm, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, you're, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. He said, right. He said, I'm going to get her a different girlfriend. He said, I'm going to go and find somebody else. He said, stuff her. He said, if she couldn't, can't be asked to come here. I made a mistake. I paid for all the stuff. He said, I'm going to go out with a happy feeling. So he goes out. Ten minutes later, he comes back with a different girl. So a big smile on his face. He said, there you go. He said, I told you I could do it. So we all looked and we all giggled and we thought, this will be interesting. And the Thai network, as far as ladies and men in Pattaya, was very, very good. So we finished our meal and about 30 minutes, 35 minutes later, out, we went outside, hosted outside, but did as old girlfriend. Very angry, very mad with two or three other girls and they'd been drinking Thai whiskey, so they were very irate also. So now, did his old girlfriend, looks at this new girlfriend of, you've taken my ATM away, you've taken my income source away from me. So they start shouting in Thai. And as it happens, we were very close to the, to the bar that we always used to go into, and the Mama San from the bar knew us. So she came out with a big stick and kosh, and, and sort of told them to go away but she was throwing stilettos at them and all sorts and we thought oh, shit, this has spoiled what was going to be a good night so then we were obviously scared to go around any other bars because in case they followed us and it was just like it was going to be aggressive and as I say you don't want to start fighting and spoiling the holidays so we just stayed in that bar that we were used to and the Mama San knew us and we had a good time there anyway and our hotel was literally only two minutes around the corner but um, the end of the night again three o'clock in the morning we rolled back home to the hotel and who was waiting but did his old girlfriend still shouting and screaming so Buncey from the Bay Breeze got another 300 back that, that night or that morning to sort the other girlfriend out. So it sort of put, put a bit of a dampener on the end of the end of our holiday that it ended up being like that. But a lesson learned from from one of the lads that, you know, heed the advice, don't don't be a fool and part with your money. Because a lot of people here, if you're on a two week holiday, don't give a toss about you. The minute you get on that plane, the minute you get on the taxi, they've got somebody else lined up. Don't try to get a Thai girlfriend on a long distance relationship because they won't work either. Sending the money is just a fool because you'll be sending the money as also lots of other people are sending the money. Just come across here, have your time, have a fun time, save up for again to come back again and have a better time because then you're a little bit more knowledgeable as to how it goes on over here. So that's my first time in Pattaya. The good bits and the bad bits, the happy bits, the sad bits. But I enjoyed it. It changed my view of life totally by coming to Thailand that first time. And I still live by them rules now from what I learned from the first time in 2002. I live a simplistic life here, more simplistic life here than I ever, ever did in back in the UK. So the next video that I'm going to do is Thailand blues and I'll go through that and see how many people associate with that especially the newbies who've been over here and gone back home and how they feel and how you can get over that so from Les living the dream in Thailand until the next time bye for now